Hello everyone, my name is Anele and I'm from Langa Township. My name is Fanny. I'm 61 years old. I'm from Zim, Zimbabwe. I came here because I think I can't go to politics because I want to promote my, my recycle. My name is O from India. Hi, my name is Kevin. I'm actually from the Mid, the Museum Improvement District. I'm also from the Residents Association. I do environmental cleanups, environmental awareness, and lots of organizing of people to actually create a clean environment. Hello, my name is Peter. I come from Cape Town. Hi, my name is Rose and good to meet you all. Hi, I'm Etienne from Grenoble, France. I live in Cape Town. Anele, what does it mean to be an upcycler? Um, for me personal, being an upcycler, it means um, to turn nothing into something. Um, that goes with turning trash into cash. <laughs> <laughs> what is the uh, meaning of creating? Uh, is that uh, maybe I want to bring back the, 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 the things which was uh, thrown away to new life. Upside crop, which means that for me to make something from nothing. Uh, having grown in a poverty related uh, outset, I always had this heart to uplift those people around me. So I went to university, but my mind was always not to be employed by big companies, but to work with the community that, grew, that I grew up with. In this case, you find that I ended up working with people who didn't have enough education, people who were having problems with uh, finding jobs, and even foreigners coming from out of the country into the country and finding it difficult to find jobs. So this came into the idea of uh, self-employment and being self-supporting. Uh, uh, it is easy to pick up things like waste from the bean, like Coca-Cola cans and uh, buying few uh, not so expensive material like wire and bead and coming up with uh, uh, expensive items. Or they may not be so expensive but uh, nice to look at and nice to touch and even to take home. So this is how the idea of upcycling came into me and I'm really glad that it has worked for me and for those who are getting some benefit out of it. Well, to be an educator to me is to educate the youth, entrepreneurs as well as the previous generation and generations to come about how to live more sustainably and how to leave as little of a footprint on the earth through upcycling. For me, it means that the set of the stuff landing into the flays and the rivers and the waters, that the stuff actually becomes of value. So I have the philosophy, trash is cash. Um, yeah, so I'm actually adding potential to what is called waste. To be an activist for me, it's to educate and to be aware about uh, our consumption and our waste management. How has upcycling changed your life? Um, it helped me with um, stop stressing about materials and everything and just work with what I have and keep recycling and create more product out of it. It changed my life because right now I look like a younger old man. Why? Uh, because uh, some people they think uh, to work for the company is best but to me I said no you can design you can do anything anything can make you change your life well how has upcycling changed my life so I can show you one for sure uh, I like to have very beautiful one but this has a serious meaning that it contains five case plastic from the landfill which is clean plastic. Clean plastic has a value. It, it's like a resource. So we fill the clean plastic inside and then we can save landfill 5 kg landfill from the plastic from the landfill. So that's the meaning for my life. And 
I found that what kind of plastic I can refuse or reduce from my life, not from your life. I can change my life. Then I can contribute to have better future world. Uh, it's changed my life in the way I view uh, rubbish, in the way I view dealing with the rubbish that we have in Sunflow. So upcycling, before we would take the rubbish and throw it away, we'd actually dump it into rubbish bins and into the um, landfill. What we're doing now is we're catching it at source and then we're looking at that to create um, income for the people who are actually creating the pollution. Upcycling has changed my life in the sense that uh, economically, I would say I'm blessing people around me with my uh, platform whereby I market their products and they are also blessing me by bringing in uh, income as well as expertise into the community. And this idea comes in such a way that we are not doing things out of our own ideas but people and corporates come to us asking for gifts or uh, how can I call it, customized items in which case we also learn from that thing, so it's a matter of learning from each other and each one is a step of benefiting all the way. Well, I am an educator in upcycling and I have been on this journey of doing natural building and working with the earth as well as waste. So going into landfills, collecting tires, collecting empty bags that used to be filled with sand, as well as straw bales and eco bricks. So right now you might be wondering what eco bricks would be. Eco bricks would be your two liter bottle, plastic bottle stuffed with non-recyclable plastic, compressed and then screwed, a top screwed onto it and then using it as an eco brick. So then making some eco brick cob walls and different sculptures with that that could last for more than 10 to 20, 15 years. Um, as well as creating tire, tire out of classrooms with Cobb too, building buildings, more sustainable buildings, as well as sandbags, creating homes that are also fireproof. Since I'm doing upcycling, I'm more aware about the waste that I can find in my closed environment and I can know if we can reuse it or if it's really a waste and we can't do anything with it. Would you be an eco designer? Would you be an eco designer? Would you be an eco designer? Would you be an activist? Do you want to be a promoter? Would you want to be an educator? Would you be an educator?